you will discover one of these days that your name is Christ. And the worst that could happen is not that you fell, but that you were kidnapped and uh, brought up as Jones or Brown or Smith, whereas your name, your identity, your potentialities is Christ, the spiritual offspring of God. And uh, that in any moment that this is revealed to you, all that has been imposed upon you by this human belief drops away and you begin to perceive your own nature, your own identity, and it doesn't take you long to get used to the atmosphere of spirit, which is your original abiding place. Let us, in this moment, do away with the belief of being a fallen man or woman who has to, in some way or other, struggle back to the kingdom of God, and let us realize that here and now, I and the Father are one. The Father is spirit, and I am the offspring of spirit, therefore spiritual. And I am of the household of God, under the dominion of God, joint heir to all the heavenly riches, by virtue of the fact that the Spirit of God dwells in me. God never removed his spirit from me, and certainly no man had the power to undo the work of God. Therefore, the spirit of God that dwelt in me in the beginning must be the spirit of God that dwells in me now, awaiting recognition, awaiting first recognition, acknowledgement, and finally realization. It is true that at first something must sing within us that says this must be true or else we must acknowledge that God is not omnipotent, that God permitted his son to fall, that God made possible the failure of man to live and move and have his being in God or that God instigated the fall. And you wouldn't like to ascribe such things to God. You would not like to believe that there is a God capable of losing a son, even one son out of all the billions of sons that have uh, been manifested as form. You would not like to trust God, have faith in God that lost a son. You would not like to believe for a single moment in the infinite capacity of God if you could also believe that a son of God could be lost out of the kingdom, that one single child of God could go astray, not with the knowledge of God or without the knowledge of God, for that would make God less than omniscience omniscience, the all-knowing, and if God is the all-knowing, and God is, then nobody wanders out of the kingdom of heaven without God's knowing it, not even a sparrow. Therefore, let us return to our self. Let us return to our self. Let us have knowledge of our self. God is not capable of losing a son. Therefore, I have never left the kingdom of God. I have never left the jurisdiction, the government of God. I have never come under any law but the law of God and have never lived any life but the life of God. God, life is the life of all being and there never has been another. I and my Father are one is an indestructible relationship. It never had a beginning, it will never have an ending, and certainly it didn't end in the Garden of Eden. 